Hi everyone, welcome to Bazaar. So, Bazaar is a roguelike VR game where you ride around on a magic carpet through this stylized city and you try to collect gold and various upgrades and try to stay alive. Whoa. And the upgrades you get spawn randomly, so every time you die you restart. So I'm starting from the beginning here. But then um, all the upgrades, like where you're gonna find fishes and the gold sacks and stuff, will all appear in different locations. And then you can have special power-ups like that box where all the gold like flew out and probably only lasts for a couple seconds or something. And as you can see, this game uses the gaze look mechanic. It does not actually use motion controls, although the HTC Vive controllers are supported for things like pushing buttons and saying like resume and pausing the game, which is why I'm holding them. Uh, so this game does say on the Steam store, supports tracked motion controllers, but it only supports them insofar as you can use them to press buttons and stuff. You cannot actually aim at objects with your motion controller, you have to use the gaze look. Uh, and the goal of every level is to collect a key and get through this door. I have not collected the key yet, so I'm going to turn around. And let's see here. So I have my health and I have my hunger meter. My hunger's gone down a little, but I've also collected a couple fishes and some Turkish delights. So let's eat some Turkish delights, like that kid from uh, Narnia. And I filled my belly up so much that it doesn't even let me eat any fishes to finish off that tiny little sliver of hunger I have left. All right, so, oh, I see an umbrella over there. If you don't have an umbrella when you go through a water spout like this, then your map becomes wet and you can't read it anymore. But if you have an umbrella, you're okay. So, I'm just looking for the key now. Oh, no, no. I was just looking behind me for fun, not to turn around. One of the disadvantages of a game that uses gaze look instead of motion controls. But if you have an Oculus Rift, then this would be a great game to play because uh, the gaze look is implemented very well compared to a lot of games that use this mechanic. Oh, give me that gold, yeah. No, no, no. Take me back to the gate, the locked gate. All right, and then if you look directly forward in this tiny little circle, he'll go faster. It's kind of annoying because you just have to hold your head exactly in one spot. And with this beautiful, beautiful stylized environment, I'd rather just be looking around. All right, on to the next level, level two. Oh. You actually have to use the key. Kind of forgot about that. The treasure district. All right, treasure right off the bat here. Give me that last coin. Now these coins you can actually spend at the black market. And you can buy things like weapons, which you use to kill enemies that will spawn later. I haven't seen any enemies yet, but I'm still pretty early on. There you go. So you got these crocodiles. They lurk in the water, and uh, they're not always pissed off and ready to kill, but sometimes they will leap at you and attack you. Oh god, I'm taking damage. Uh, I guess the croc decided to leap at me after all. Is this one going to do that? No, that's a chill crocodile. So, in order to kill those crocs, I'm going to need a crossbow. What is damaging me here? Oh, it's these things. These little uh, racks have arrows in them, and they shoot the arrows at you when you move past them. So you need a shield to get past that. And luckily, there is a black market right here, and I happen to be able to buy a shield. So, let me turn around, because I saw another arrow trap over here. Let me pull out my shield. And... So the shield, just like everything else, is controlled with gaze look, so let's just look directly at this trap, 
and my shield will block all your arrows, which you can then catch by looking at them. And that, I guess, depletes a little bit of your shield's durability. But it's worth it. Also, arrows are very nice, because eventually you'll find a crossbow, or if you don't find it, you can buy it from the black market, and then you can actually kill those crocodiles. So, like I said, this is a, a roguelike, which means it's all about just like progressing as far as you can in one life, and getting... Ooh, what's this? I haven't seen this before. Medkit heals your wounds. Oh, sweet. That's useful. But it's about progressing as far as you can in one life, uh, getting what you do by buying upgrades or finding upgrades, and avoiding danger. Uh, and then at the end, when you die, you have to start over again with none of your upgrades. So in this game, when you die, you actually get scored based on what you did with your life, uh, like how fulfilling of a life you lived. Not really, it's just a uh, various different tasks that you performed while you went through the game on your last life, and then it gives you these diamonds based on what you did if you accomplished certain tasks, like if you collected X amount of gold, or if you consumed X amount of fish. Uh, and then you use the diamonds to buy power-ups that'll help you for your next level. For example, I've played this, I've gone through one life in this game, and I got one diamond because I like collected some amount of coins or something. And I upgraded to find more health packs because I actually died in that game and I never found a health pack. And now I found a health pack, so uh, as you go through, you get these little power-ups that are going to help you go through and do better and get farther. Okay. So I have the key and now I'm just like, ooh, look, a bow, a crossbow. Now we can kill crocodiles instead of just being at their mercy. And as you can see, I'm just occasionally glancing at my health and my hunger. And if I'm hungry, I can go ahead and I can eat some fishes or I can eat some Turkish delights. Whatever strikes my fancy at the moment. And don't forget to pick up the arrows that these traps shoot out. They are quite useful and I have not seen arrows for sale at the black market. And what do we have here? Alright, another little coin trick. Look all around and collect these coins. Oh no, I'm full. Full on gold? How can I be full of gold? Oh wait, my entire inventory is full. Okay, eat this fish. Let me go back. Ugh. Wait, wait, collect the coins first. It's because each 100 stack of coins takes up a slot in your inventory, and I guess your inventory can become full. In which case, you're going to have to drop stuff, so let's drop some of these freaking stupid umbrellas that are pretty useless because <laughs> I don't use the map anyways, so not being able to see my map does not make a big difference to me. Although I probably should use the map. I would get less lost if I did that. Ooh, monkey district. So um, I think actually the districts are randomized as well, like the order that you go in, because I don't remember this one from last time. All right. Oh no, he got me. I thought I was going to shoot him. Just didn't equip my stupid crossbow fast enough. Alright, get him. Get him. Damn it. Didn't work. There you go. So all you have to do is look at him with the crossbow equipped, and he dies. Easy peasy. Oh, I already got the key for this level. So let's just go through to the end of this level. These look like poisoned arrows. So if I were to get hit by these, which I won't, because I'm not a noob, <laughs> if I were to get hit by those, I would have to buy an antidote for 50 gold from the black market, or I would have to find an antidote. And I've never found one, so I don't know how likely that is. I assume it would just do damage over time until that happens. Uh-oh. Well, here comes more poison arrows, and I do not have my shield, so... Oh, wait, there's a shield, but it's not going to help me, because... Alright, so now I'm poisoned. 
And I need an antidote. Let's see how long the poison lasts, and maybe it'll last long enough to just straight up kill me. Which is good, because I was about to end this video, so now I'm on a timer. If I don't find the end of this level by the time I die, then that'll be that. Oh, cool, another shield. That would have been useful before. Oh yeah, this would be a situation to use the map in, huh? Okay, so I am- Oh shit, oh shit, a monkey is on my face. Well, that's pretty cool actually because I love monkeys. Mostly gorillas, but monkeys are cool too because they're like small gorillas. Alright, so. If I want to cure my poison, I can go to the black market and I can be like, Give me <laughs> an antidote, please. Thank you. Anti-venom cures poison. Whoops, whoops, whoops. What's that over there? It looks like a little portal. I'll go check that out. Anti-venom cures poison. Use it. As long as I don't die to this crocodile right here. Kill the croc. And let's see what this thing is. Oh, monkey on my face. Get off my face, monkey. I guess this just like shows the map or something? It's kind of boring. Literally just shows the map. Okay. Well, folks, that has been Bazaar, and that is B A Z A A R, not Bizarre. It is a roguelike game, so if you're into roguelike gameplay, then check this out. Um, it does use the gaze look mechanic over motion controls, but if you're on the Oculus Rift, that's probably a plus. So definitely check this out if you're on the Oculus Rift. And uh, even on the Vive, I think it's a pretty fun game. So thank you for watching. Check out my channel if you're into virtual reality. And uh, have a great day, and goodbye. There we go. And then... That's not good. <laughs> We're so close. Yes, they made it. <laughs> oh, third egg. Oh no. Oh yes, they made it. They made it to the top. I beat the level.